I would now like to call upon our respected principal sir, Mr. John Stevens Gupta, to give us a brief introduction about the online Christmas program. A very warm welcome to one and all. It's that time of the year when we sing praises and usher in the good news. The good news of the birth of Christ and along with it, the good news for a better, healthier and a safer world for us. Amidst this pandemic, the teachers and the students of Pailan World School have worked tirelessly and it is my honour to present the online Christmas programme to you today. May God bless our students and I hope this Christmas brings renewal and joy in the life of each and every one. So come, let us adore Him and join in the celebrations. I thank the management, the Board of Governors, parents, teachers and the students for all their cooperation and support. Welcome to everyone. Today we have all gathered to celebrate Christmas Day. On this auspicious occasion, I would like to take this opportunity and narrate the nativity story of Jesus Christ to our students of Pelan World School. The Christmas Story About 2000 years ago, in a small town called Nazareth, there was a little house where lived a young Jewish girl named Mary. She was not married, but she was going to be real soon to a good man named Joseph. Well, one day something amazing happened. An angel of the Lord's, Gabriel, a very important angel, appeared to Mary. Who are you? I'm Gabriel. Don't be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. He loves you very much. God has sent me here to tell you that soon you'll have a son. Huh? Me a son? Yes, a son. He will be called Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of God. Mary was very obedient and she said, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May God do with me as he wants to. Mary wanted to do just as God told her to do. Just near the time Mary was about to have her baby, the Roman Emperor sent soldiers to announce a new law. Okay, listen everyone. 
The Emperor Caesar Augustus says that all of you need to pay some taxes now and register for census. So Mary and Joseph made their way to Bethlehem because that's where Joseph had to pay taxes. It was about 65 miles from Nazareth to Bethlehem. And the trip took many, many days. And when they reached Bethlehem, guess what happened? All the places were full. All the inns were full. Mary, you wait here. Make yourself comfortable. By then, I will try to find a suitable place for us to stay. Joseph kept knocking and knocking again and again. He had been looking and looking for a place to stay. And Mary was about to have a baby. Well, I have tried almost all the inns and it looks like all of them are full. Dear Mary, how do you feel? I am very tired, Joseph. But please don't worry, I am sure God will provide a place for us. Poor Joseph and Mary were so tired and didn't know what to do. Oh God, tell me what to do. Help me. I have no idea, no clue. I'll go and get some fresh hair where you can sleep comfortably tonight. That night Jesus was born. And oh, it was a wonderful night. Big stars shining in the sky. There was no crib, so they laid baby Jesus in a manger. It was full of fresh hay and made it a little comfortable for the baby. Near Bethlehem that night, there were some shepherds keeping a watch over their flocks of sheep. When suddenly an angel appeared to them. I have good news for you. There is a savior who has been born. What, really? What saviour? Can we see him? Where is he? The angel told them where to find him. The shepherds were so excited and happy. They ran to the stable. and found Jesus there just as the angel had told them. After they had seen Jesus, they spread the news and everyone who heard was in wonder. I hope this glorious tale of the birth of Christ helps us get into the true spirit of Christmas. 
a merry christmas to all of you good morning one and all i am mark williams from class 3 i would like to share a few words on how i celebrate christmas christmas time is the time for giving and sharing but for me it's all about fun i have so much fun during this time of the year during christmas it's all about food we like candy cookies and cake before christmas i clean up the house with my family and decorate the christmas tree i hang up my socks and wait eagerly for santa to bring my gifts the night before christmas day on christmas eve i go to the church with my family after that i spend time with my family and relatives i love christmas time and i wish that every christmas i would find happiness and joy with my family thank you Merry Christmas everyone. I am Marsha Sheikh from class 7. Today I'm going to recite the poem Remember the Reindeer. Hang up the stockings, decorate the tree. Presents placed perfectly. What a sight to see. Milk and cookies are out. Kids are
Christmas is one of the most popular festival which is widely celebrated by people across the globe. Christmas is celebrated on 25th of December every year. This festival commemorates the birth anniversary of Lord Jesus Christ. Christmas tree is decorated on the Christmas Eve. It's an artificial pine tree which looks beautiful when decorated with lights, artificial stars, flowers and bells over it. Kids are especially enthusiastic about this festival as they expect Santa Claus to visit them and bring gift to their homes. Christians wear new clothes and prepare delicious delicacies. They also visit their near and dear ones and celebrate this festival together. People gift cakes and sweets to their family and friends. They also decorate their houses with lights during this festival. People hang lanterns outdoors to mark the onset of the festive season. All the members of the family pray together in praise of Lord Jesus Christ. All the members of the family pray together in praise of Lord Jesus Christ. Although it's a Christian festival, but people of different community also celebrate Christmas with great fervor and enthusiasm. Thank you. Sweet silver bells all seem to say, throw cares away. Christmas is here, bringing good cheer to young and old. We can the boat, ding dong, ding dong. That is their song with joyful ring, all caroling. One seems to hear words of good cheer from everywhere, filling the air. Oh, how The bells, sweet to the bells, all seem to say, Throw cares away. Christmas is here, bringing the cheer to young and old. We can the boat, ding dong, ding dong. That is their song, with joyful ring, all caroling. One seems to hear words of good cheer from everywhere, feeling the air. Oh, how they come, raising the sound, or hear them, telling the tale, gaily the ring, while people sing songs of good cheer. Christmas is here, merry, 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 merry Christmas. Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. O'er the fields we go, laughing all the way. The bells on Bobtail ring, they make our spirits bright. What fun it is to ride and sing a sleighing song tonight! Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh! A day or two ago, I thought I'd take a ride, and soon Miss Fanny Bride was seated by my side. The horse was lean and lank, misfortune seemed his lot. He got into a drifted bank, and we, we got upside. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Now the ground is white 
So go it while you're young. Take the girls tonight and sing the sleighing song. Just get a bobtail nag to forty for his speed. Then hitch him to an open sleigh and crack he'll take the lead. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. I would like to thank our respected principal sir, Mr. John Stevens Gupta, 
for guiding us and helping us to conduct the Christmas program online. I would like to thank the teachers of the junior and senior school for their heartfelt contributions. I would also like to thank all the students for the brilliant performances. I wish you all a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you.